I believe the iPad is the best device to DJ with, and in this short video, I'm going to show you some touchscreen only DJ Pro features that'll make DJing with just the iPad easier and more fun. Now, the first one is going to be involving the crossfader. So, with the crossfader, you can obviously slowly fade in, fade out, move it as fast as you want. But obviously, you're not going to get the same feel as a regular physical crossfader like this. A little bit harder to cut and do DJ tricks and scratchings and scratching and quick cuts because you don't have a physical crossfader. So DJ Pro has a really cool feature where let's say we want to scratch on this deck over here, the deck on the right, deck two, like that. So if we have the crossfader to the left, you're not going to hear any of the scratching. But the trick is, if you tap your finger, so don't grab it, just tap it. Now the crossfader is exactly in the middle. And then as soon as you let go, it's going to snap back. So let me show you what it sounds like to do a chirp scratch. A little bit hard the way I have the camera set up to get to do it, so it might not be the best scratch. So that's a, a regular baby scratch, but now I'm going to do a chirp. So a couple babies and a chirp. So you could hear that. You don't hear the reverse scratch sound. And it's kind of impossible to do if you're just going to move the cross fader, fader regularly. So you just tap in the middle. Also, if you want to make like a cool cutting sound, you could play the track. <laughs> And you could cut in and do DJ tricks like that. Another feature that DJ Pro has to make it easier when you're using these touch controls is, let's say we're adjusting the BPM. So we're lowering the BPM, we're hiring the BPM, but we want to go back to the middle. Instead of trying to line it up perfectly like that, which is a little bit harder to, a little bit hard to do, even though there's a light that comes on, that little light over here, and there's a little bit of like a haptic feel like it stops. What you could do is double tap it. So you just double tap anywhere on the fader that you're using and it goes back. So it's there. Double tap and it's back. Same thing on any type of slider. So let me open our EQ over here. Bring it down, double tap. Any one of these sliders works. Also any knob too. So the knobs are a little bit harder to use than the sliders. But if you want to go back to the middle, you just double tap it. So pretty much any feature. will go back with the volume fader. Instead of having to grab it and slide it, you could just choose where you want to go. So the volume slider is at the bottom. Now it's right there. So you don't actually have to like grab it and go. Another cool feature is a cutting feature. So if you move the jog wheel with, with one finger, it's just going to be like you're using a regular jog wheel. But if you touch the jog wheel, it's the same thing with the active waveforms because you could scratch with the waveforms too. If you put two fingers, so it knows the difference between one finger and two finger, watch the crossfader when I put one finger and then two fingers it does like a super fast cut i don't know if you could see that but it's cutting back and forth so fast you can barely see it so definitely practice with it but it's a really cool way to do some scratching on your iPad without having actually having to know all the techniques of scratching. So two fingers on the jog wheel is, or the, or the waveform is going to cut the crossfader super fast, which is super cool. Next is there's a couple of hidden features. If you hold down, so you press the music select like that, you can get to your playlist, your library all the way like that. But if you hold it in, we get some extra features. You can load next, you can eject, you can double, you can access the scratch tool and use even the Shazam feature. So that's by holding in the music select button for a couple seconds. 
And the last thing I want to show you has to do with some of these knobs. Some of these knobs are a little bit hard to use. So it may seem like you have to actually grab this tiny knob and move it. But what you all you have to do is touch it once. And now you could go anywhere on the screen and control it. So you don't actually have to have your finger on that really small knob. I'm controlling it now from anywhere on the screen. So you just find what you want to use. And then you could go anywhere on the screen and use it like that. Makes it super easy. I used to think that you had to use the actual tiny knob and it was really hard to use. But you just grab it, go anywhere on the screen, and you can do that. And if you get bored of DJing with just the iPad, check out this video on how to connect a controller to DJ Pro and start DJing with a controller. Thank you.